But what's the 500 horsepower all motor stock bottom end 5.3 liter? Hello everybody, I'm Richard Holder, and before I describe the worst thing that ever happened to me, I'm at West Tech Performance, and welcome to the channel. Today I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make 500 horsepower from a 5.3 liter, a junkyard 5.3 liter, no less. I know what you're thinking, Richard, why is that a bad thing? You just take a little bit of boost, add to your 5.3, boom, voila, you're at 500 horsepower. In fact, it's very, very easy, and it's a good thing. Yeah, but that's not what I did. I took a 5.3 liter and I wanted to make 500 horsepower naturally aspirated. And here's how it all started. I went down to the wrecking yard one day and found an all aluminum L33 5.3 liter. I brought it back to West Tech, put it up on the dyno and lo and behold, it ran great. It made good power. And here's where things started going south. We started doing cam tests. We put in a couple of mild cams, a Chapacabra, a Truck Norris, a cam from Cam Motion and a cam from Summit Racing and all these mild cams were great. Then we stepped up our game. We put in a hot rod cam from Brian Tooley Racing and then a red hot cam for Brian Tooley Racing. And despite the fact that neither one of those cams were ever designed for a naturally aspirated junkyard 5.3 liter, they did very well. Then we took another turn by installing a fast LSXR intake manifold. And lo and behold, with the red hot cam and the fast intake manifold, we were just a touch over 480 horsepower. And the problem with that is it's very close to 500. And that got me thinking, I need to make 500 horsepower with this stock bottom end L33. And here's how I'm gonna do it. We've got a good intake, we've got a good camshaft, we have the stock bottom end. The only thing we're missing is good head flow. I know the 799s have good flow. I'm talking about good head flow, like an aftermarket head. In this case, I decided I'm gonna run a set of TrickFlow 220 ASCAST heads to try to help it make 500 horsepower. Only I didn't run ASCAST heads. I ran modified, super modified ASCAST 220 TrickFlow heads. In fact, they're the very heads that I ran way back on the Big Bang nitrous motor. That's right. We also modified the fast intake manifold, you know, just to make sure we got to 500 horsepower. And the story doesn't end there. Then I installed a smaller cam to see if we could still make 500 horsepower with a smaller cam. It's a good story. So check it out. Okay guys, we got our Junkyard L33, the aluminum 5.3 liter up on the dyno. It's got long tube headers. It's got a fast manifold. It's got the factory 799 heads up. It's got a little Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris camshaft in it. Let's see what this mild combination does and then we can step things up and go big. Okay, it ran really good with the truck doors camshaft. Now let's step things up. We're gonna put an even bigger camshaft in it before we start swapping heads and intakes. Now let's swap in that red hot cam. So you can see by the dyno results, 480 horsepower with the red hot cam and fast intake manifold, but we want even more. Okay, run our combination with the BTR uh, red hot cam and the fast intake manifold 799 heads. We're around 480 horsepower, we're looking for 500. So we're gonna upgrade to the ASCAST 220 heads that are no longer ASCAST. And we're going, they're also milled, which is good. And we have a ported fast manifold. So we gotta take this thing apart so we can install those pieces.
Time for a little razor blade rebuild. After the Super Richie razor blade rebuild, we installed new Felpro 41000 MLS head gaskets and installed the Trickflow 220 ASCAS heads that were no longer ASCAS using new factory head bolts. The 220 heads featured full porting on the intake and full porting on the exhaust, as well as extensive combustion chamber work from the guys at Brian Tooley Racing. They featured a 204157 valve package with a 50 degree exhaust valve cut. The heads were also milled 30 thousandths to increase the static compression ratio. That put the chamber around 60 cc's. The TFS heads were combined with a port match fast LSXR intake manifold that had a cool carbon fiber either dip or wrap and also combined with a 102 millimeter fast big mouth throttle body. The Trickflow heads were treated to an ultimate RPM spring package, which combines a 685 spring and a minus 45 retainer to increase the spring pressure and the RPM potential. Installation of the Trickflow heads required removal of the locating tabs on the factory rocker stands. As luck would have it, milling the heads 30 thousandths allowed us to utilize the same 7.425 length push rod used with the 799 heads. After modifying the rocker stands, we installed the factory rockers and then installed the 80 pound injectors in our stock fuel rail. Okay guys, now it's time to find out how much power our modified L33 5.3 liter made and did it exceed 500 horsepower? <laughs> yes, obviously it did. Uh, we started out with a bone stock one from the wrecking yard. So this was a high mileage unit that we had done, eventually done a bunch of stuff on. So run with our Mazira electric water pump, long tube headers, engine seven eighths headers and the factory truck manifold and the throttle body and a holly, you know, for an optimized tune. This thing produced 365 horsepower, 364.5, 389 foot-pounds of torque, and then we did a bunch of stuff to it. We ran boost on it, we ran a sloppy stage two, but we started running uh, small cams in it. We put the Brian Tooley Racing Truck Norris cam in it, 442.7 horsepower, and 412.5 foot-pounds of torque, 412, 413 foot-pounds of torque. But things really started getting serious when we stepped up in camshaft on this thing. So when we put a red hot camshaft in it, a bigger camshaft, and again, I'll go ahead and put the specs of all these cams up and you can, you guys can kind of see, they're actually fairly mild as it goes, much smaller than the cams that we had run previously to make 500 horsepower with these combinations. So it's an important thing to keep in mind. But when we added the red hot cam and the fast intake manifold to the 5.3, it was 480.7 horsepower. And peak torque was up just a little bit, 415 foot-pounds compared to the Truck Norris cam. They were making a very similar kind of flat torque curve. But this is what tempted me <laughs> to try to make some more modifications and say, hey, look, we're very close to 500 horsepower, so let's try to get 500 horsepower. And the way that we do that, obviously, we had a good intake manifold. We had, um, a, you know, we had the stock bottom end and we had a good camshaft. So the thing that miss was missing really were uh, a good set of heads. The 799 heads are not bad, but they don't really, they, they would have basically just enough head flow to support that. It just would make it more difficult. So if we put part of the heads on, we know that we're going to, you know, make good power. And we did exactly that. So here's what happened when we did our upgraded trick flow heads. So those are trick flow as cast 220s, the same heads that, that were repaired after I ran them on the unfortunate big bang 5.3 liter nitrous motor that blew itself to smithereens. 
And when I say blew itself, I mean I blew it to smithereens. Um, we did that, and but Brian Tui, the guys at Brian Tui did additional porting on them, chamber work, intake work, exhaust work, and, then, and a 50 degree valve job, as I explained in the prelude up to this. 511.8 horsepower, which is good. That's the most that I've made on one of these 5.3s on a stock bottom end. But here's the other thing to think about. This is really impressive. 440.4 foot pounds of torque. That's definitely the most torque that I've ever made. And that's a good amount. But you guys that are out there, you guys tight, you tight LSA people out there, you know who you are. Um, go ahead and tell me that you'll make even more torque if you would have tightened the LSA up. The thing that I'd be concerned about, obviously, is we would want to make sure that the camshaft fits. Both of these, or this was an off the shelf cam. But what we also wanted to find out, and we'll go ahead and get rid of some of these right now. We wanted to find out if we could do this with an even smaller camshaft. And as it turned out, the answer is yes, because what we did after putting the Red Hot cam in, I put in the smaller Hot Rod cam, which is like a 217 cam, and that one <laughs> just made 500 horsepower. I think it was, what was it, 500.8, 500.7, yeah, 500.7, 500.8, so it just squeaked the 500 horsepower uh, you know, it clips that, um, just, just barely by the skin of its teeth, but it did make 500 horsepower, even with that small cam. So we were very, very happy with that. And we wanted to see if that small cam, if it was capable on this combination of making 500 horsepower. And obviously it was, and again, I'll put all the specs up for all the camshafts, but <laughs> 500 horsepower, 5.3 liter. And this is what happens when you get close to a number, like, ah, oh, just turn the boost up a little bit or just put heads on or just add a little bit more nitrous. That's how racers are. All right, Richard Holder, please make sure to like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, do all that stuff, and I'll keep testing.